Hey there, this is David with Armored Printing. Uh, today it's going to be a quick little video for you uh, where I install the new Flowtech Micro Swiss hot end for the Sobel SV08. This hot end was provided to me by Micro Swiss at 3D Printopia, aka Earth. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to do a test print and we're going to see how it works out. Thank you for watching, and here's the video. So this is going to be an install of the Flowtech hot end from Microswiss. This is new for the SV08. It offers their cold nozzle change and high flow. This is going to be a direct replacement for the stock nozzle as well as a big improvement in peace of mind when it comes to printing with the SV08. It's well known that the stock nozzle uh, for the first batch had its reliability issues which is debatable. I have over 500 hours on this and no issues at all but I am excited to put this in and just get a little extra peace of mind. This install should be very, fairly straightforward. Uh, we're just going to be removing the old one and putting this new one in. We'll redo our Z offset, PID calibration and start printing. So let's go ahead and get right into the install. First, we're going to remove the shroud. Now, as you'll notice, this is not the factory shroud. However, removal is the same as factory. All you do is you pull it straight off, remove your fans, take note of where they go. So your parts cooling fan is going to be down here. Now this one right here is tied into the hot end. So if you're not running a setup like this, then you can ignore it. However, you're going to have to unplug your hot end fan. So we're just going to go ahead and remove this fan plug right here. And we'll just take note that the hot end fan is already unplugged. Next, you're going to want to set that to the side. And we're going to want to un uninstall the plug for the thermistor and the hot end. So we'll start with this one down here, and follow this up to here. And now your hot end is ready to come out. We're going to take a two and a half millimeter wrench, and there's two screws holding the hot end in place. So let's go ahead and remove those. So from here, we're going to remove the screws from the fan. Try not to drop your wrench.
and we can discard this. Put it to the side in case of emergency. You know, whatever you want to do with this. So now we're going to remove the hot end from the box. We can note that the connectors are the same. So it's a direct swap. Note the threaded nozzle, 0.4 millimeter. We're going to mount the fan onto this side. Just remember this is plastic so you don't have to force it down. And you'll notice the break here and then there's a groove here. So you're going to line those up. front screw in I'm not going to tighten it because I want to make sure I get the top ones aligned and it may be easier to start it Now we're going to secure our cables. We have the smaller plug. parts cooling fan. Now that our fans are connected, thermistor and hot end is connected, we can go ahead and put our cover back on. And we can start up the printer. One key note with my printer. I am running the Demon Macros, so my Z offset will be manually set. If you're running factory firmware or factory macros, then you're going to want to go ahead and just run the Z offset calibration um, macro and then run a PID and go ahead and start a print. So let me wait while this warms up and I'll be back. Okay, so I just did the PID calibration. I did that off camera so that you just didn't sit here and watch it heat up, cool down, heat up multiple times. Uh, here we're going to set the Z offset. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then we will start a print. Okay, so we went through the pre-print macro, uh, did our bed mesh, our Z calibration, and uh, quad gantry, and now we're doing our purge line. And we will start printing our benchy.
Okay, now I'm not going to make you sit here and watch the whole thing. So let's speed this up a little bit. And we'll check back when it's done. Okay, Benji's finished. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, is a little bit of stringing, but then that walls look good. I don't see any ringing. Layers are consistent. It's a little, a little bit of something right there. First layer. First layer looks pretty good. Maybe give it a little bit more squish. But other than that, you know, for first print no tuning and I'd say it's a, su a success I would highly recommend this hot end to anyone who has an SV08 who may be on the fence of their machine and if they have any concerns about the nozzle separating from the body you know, for I think what the price is $63 on their website I think for the price it's a good peace of mind overall good performance and with different nozzles to choose from can't really go wrong I'll have a link in the description to this hot end and if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you like what you see please subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching